morning everyone and welcome to today's video. Kyle is just at the gym right now and I was just getting ready for the day. Um, this morning I woke up, hold on, it's kind of oh, it's dark in our kitchen. I woke up and I made some bread. Um, I've said this before, but I am gluten-free, so I can't eat this bread. It's not a gluten-free bread, but it is a rosemary or roasted garlic and rosemary bread. And it smells unreal. It's not bad. Even though I can't eat the bread, like I just I find making bread so soothing. Um, so this one, you actually make it the day before and let it rise for like 18 hours or something like that. So that is what I did. Um, Kyle and I are actually getting ready for our next project. It's actually gonna be happening this week um, in the next couple of days. Um, so I'll show you, I have a little sample of it. So we're gonna be doing concrete countertops. So we're just doing an overlay. So when we moved into this house, our kitchen came with like these like cutting blocks, I guess. Um, that are the same material as our counters. I don't really know what those are for. Maybe they're just samples. I have no idea. But um, I used it to sample, actually it was Kyle's idea, to sample putting concrete on. Um, and so this one is just a sample, but basically I just wanted to try and see what it looked like. Um, I need to seal this and see how the sealer works on the concrete. You can see these spots that are like a lot lighter. Um, we hopefully won't have spots like that when we do the concrete. What happened is, is I was just trying out a different thing. There was like a ridge right here. Um, and before it dried, I just took some water and like smoothed it out. So that way I wouldn't have to do a lot of sanding. Um, and same with this spot right here. But I don't like that. Obviously that is so much lighter than this. And so I don't want to have that. So I don't think I'll do that. I'll just like try to make it as smooth as possible and then sand down what I need to. So yeah, I just need to wash this off and then I need to seal it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do right now is just wash this down, seal it, and I'll show you guys. Um, maybe I'll just film it after I put some sealer on. I don't know. I don't know. This is a sealer I'm going to be using. It's black diamond granite sealer, but it's a penetrating sealer, which is what I want because I want it to like sink into the concrete. Um, and then I have this one here, a stone and concrete sealer. Um, and it's like a wax that you apply on top. And so I'm gonna apply this after I do this one. Um, they're both food safe, but I just, want to make sure I protect our concrete. I want to see if they make the concrete look different. I want to make sure that it works. So I'm just going to test it on this piece here. So directions, surface must be clean and dry before applying sealer. Um, spray granite with granite sealer and work it into the surface with a sponge. I'm going to go get two cloths. Yeah. Don't let it dry. What I'm hoping is this doesn't change the actual look of the concrete. Like right now, obviously it's wet, so I'm just hoping it will dry a normal color, like the light color, but we'll see. All right, that's four minutes. So let's wipe off all the excess. Second coat can be applied after 15 minutes. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. This is what it looks like right now. I would say it looks pretty similar to when, before I sealed it. So, let's put a second coat on. There, that's not soaking up. Beautiful. Okay, wipe off all the excess. That's the second coat. I'm gonna leave it for 15 minutes uh, and then I'll put the wax on. So while I'm just waiting for the sealer to dry, I'm just gonna eat some breakfast. This has been one of my favorite things lately. Well, actually for a couple months now, is um, rice cakes, the everything flavored kind, um, with guac, boiled eggs, and then some pepper on top. Kyle's gonna have some. And Kyle has something to show you. He's a new person. What did Not you really. What did you do this week? Just got a tattoo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. It's not done yet. It's Yeah, it's not complete. Obviously, this is just like the outlining's done, but the part where all the shading's done looks so good. And I can't get over how like crisp and clean that line is. It looks so good. 
Um, wait, tell them what the tattoo is. Oh, it's just, um... The date there is our wedding date. Yeah. And then that's like a clock and it's the time we got married. There you go. There you go. Just gonna eat some breakfast and then I'll show you the ceiling of the, with the wax. So, uh, it's been long enough. This is all dried. Um, the sealer actually kind of changes the feel of the concrete, which like it feels even smoother now. Um, before I put on the wax, I'm gonna try just on a little spot to see if it is waterproofed or like sealed. Um, so I'm gonna pour just a tiny bit of water and see if it like beads up or if it soaks in. So, get some water. Do it where you can actually see here. I guess I'll do it over here. Ooh. Oh, babe, it's totally just sitting on top. Here, I'll bring it closer so you can see. So there's the water that I put on, and it's just beading which is what you want. It's not soaking into the counter. So two coats of that sealer did a great job. Um, I'm gonna dry this off. I'm still gonna put the wax on, um, but I wanted to see because I wanted to, so far like this looks like concrete to me, but I'm like, oh, if I put this on, it changes the color. I just wanna know like, is just the sealer enough, so. Okay, so I wet my little sponge and made it like as dry as I could. I'm gonna take a bit of wax. Okay, I don't know, about that much. And just start rubbing it in. This is like a mix of, uh, how do you say that word? Caranuba wax and beeswax, so. I think I'm doing this right? I don't know. I did this wrong. Guys, it would help if I read the package. For some reason, I thought the package didn't have any instructions. I'm an idiot. Um, okay, I need to do that again. The heck, how did I get that on there? Um, you're supposed to put it on and then let it sit for 20 minutes and then buff it out. Not buff it out right away, so I'm just gonna do that quickly again. Now that that's on, let that sit for 20 to 30 minutes and then I'll buff it out. Okay, it's been 20 minutes, let's buff this out. Do I feel like buffing it's looking any different? I guess maybe it just gets like that waxy finish off of it. Okay. All right, change it doesn't change the look. So there you go. I'll pick this up later. Kyle's mom just came for a little bit and so I wasn't vlogging while they were here. But right before they got here, I was showing you that this past or I was buffing it and then I did another water test. It looks the exact same as the first one that I did um, even once I put the wax on it. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, I have some paint samples here because I'm trying to decide on our backsplash color because we're gonna paint the tiles. So I think, I think we're leaning towards this green right here. Um, but I have all of these samples that I just cannot decide between. It's the next day, um, Kyle and I had church first thing this morning, um, and then tonight we're gonna be starting our concrete countertops, um, but because it basically puts our kitchen out of commission for um, at least three days, I'm gonna try and meal prep some stuff that will be easy food for the next couple days. So I'm gonna make some chili in a crock pot, and I'm going to make a chicken salad for some sandwiches, um, and that's pretty much it. I'm definitely in pajamas. Um, Sunday afternoons, I just like at home and just want to be comfortable. I'm like wearing a normal shirt and then pajama bottoms. Um, so the chili that Kyle and I always make is a vegetarian, or I think it might even be vegan, but it's just a, a crock pot black bean and corn chili, so it doesn't have any meat in it. Um, so we make this all the time, it's so good. Oh my god, I thought I cut myself. How are you doing, baby? Come here. 
watch your mom do it. Making food. Ooh, this sounds good. Look at the camera. My hands are on fire from friggin' jalapenos. Do you have the camera? Oh no. What? We don't want chili powder. Chevy, can you quiet down, please? <laughs> Try to vlog, but Chevy is just making a big fuss. Oh, you got it. You got it, girl. Okay. <laughs> It's fine if you just like don't bite. You can put your mouth over. You just don't bite it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, if you could just quiet down for a second. I finished prepping, uh, well, Kyle and I, Kyle helped, um, finished prepping food for the week. So we have some chicken salad for sandwiches, and then we had uh, the chili. Um, so. I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. We're gonna start the concrete after uh, dinner today. That way we don't need the kitchen anymore. We'll just clean up and then do the concrete. So if you guys want to see the transformation of our kitchen counters and how we do that, uh, you can subscribe to our channel as that will be coming in the next couple weeks. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next one. Say bye, Chev. Say bye. Can you give a high five? Here, give a high five. Oh, good girl. Oh yeah, sniff the camera. High five. Oh, good wave. Okay, bye. <laughs> Don't take that, Shav. <laughs> Get the sock. Get the sock. Get that garbage out of here.